Hello guys and welcome to 1 to 99 Hunter Guide. In this video you will see different methods to train hunters, some might be better than others, it depends on the person. If you came here to see a specific part of the video, there will be a timestamps in the description. First of all, hunter is very fun skill for myself, I really love it. Main reason you can explore and escape, go into different areas, catch different creatures and even sell them to other people for cash. So why not, you're like Pokemon catcher in your RuneScape, catch them all and then sell them all, lol. First of all, I want to talk about Hunter outfit. If you want to get the best XP rates from Hunter, you will need this outfit. It can be purchased in the Waco Rewards shop for a total of 10,000 chimes and 10 Taito. Each piece grants 1% bonus to Hunter experience, wearing the full set grants 6%. The outfit also stacks with the enchanted Yak Twee stick granting a total of 11% XP bonus. If any piece of the outfit is destroyed, they may be reclaimed for free from the angle or Yanto. Next item you should consider getting is Enchanted Yaktvi Stick. Main reason you need it is to get plus 5% XP in the Hunter. To purchase, you will need to go just northwest of the outpost near a cracked dolmen and find this bald little dude who sells these sticks. As well, if you want to purchase one, you must have at least 7200 to open the shop, just buy one. Once you bought the stick, you will need to catch 1000 charm sprites with the stick equipped and by doing so, you will be able to upgrade it to enchanted Yakvi stick. There's tons of guides on how to catch charm sprites, just search on YouTube how to do so. Maybe in the future, I will make a guide how to catch them all, you know, how to catch them all, but not today guys. Okay guys, let's talk about auras. If you want to get the best XP rate per hour, you should consider getting you should consider getting tracked aura because it can increase your chance of catching a creature by 15%, which is insane XP boost. If you, if you can't afford legendary aura, there is no problem, just use a lower tier, it will increase your XP per hour as well, just not that much as the legendary one. Simple. Keep in mind that this aura lasts for 1 hour and has a cooldown of 3 hours. But I have a solution for this. If you manage to purchase a bronze, silver or gold premier membership, you should have gotten the helium aura. This amazing aura can recharge tracker aura once per day, so basically you have 2 hours of extra XP. Really, really amazing. Don't worry if you don't have the aura, it's just extra benefit for 100 XP per hour. Next I want to talk a little bit about scentless potion. While under the influence of the potion, every trap you just set is rendered as it has been smoked with a torch. Basically that means that you have a better chance of catching a creature. Each dose of potion lasts for 6 minutes and 4 dose potion costs at the moment around 22,000 gold. A really useful thing that you should be using is summoning familiars. In total there is 5 summoning familiars that will boost your hunter XP per hour. Spirit Grach requires 5700 level. And it boosts your hunter level by 5, familiar lasts for 49 minutes and it costs around 3 to 4k gold. Spirit Kayat requires as well 57 hunter and it boosts your hunter level by 5, familiar lasts for 49 minutes and it costs around 4 to 3k. Spirit Larupia as well requires 57 hunter level and it boosts your level by 5. Familiar lasts for 49 minutes and it costs around 3k gold, maybe a little less depending on the GE prices at this moment. Arctic Beer requires 71 Hunter level and it boosts your Hunter by 7. Familiar lasts for 28 minutes and it costs around 1.5k to 2k gold. So this Familiar gives a little bit more Hunter boost but it lasts almost the half time. So this Familiar gives a little bit more Hunter boost but it lasts almost the half time. And the best familiar you can summon for Hunter is Volpentinger. It requires 92 Hunter level and it boosts your Hunter by 5. Familiar lasts for 62 minutes and it costs around 3.5k to 4k gold. This is the best choice for Hunter because this familiar has a full hour of lasting time. And believe me guys, Hunter boosts by 7 or 5. There's no big difference. You might get... Yeah, that's not a big difference. Just a slightly more XP per hour, but you will be spending way more money on familiars than you should. So if you reach 9200, stick with this familiar till you reach 99. And you will have the, that sexy looking skill cape, you know? Sexy looking skill cape, 99 hunter, oh boy. Okay, so I have talked basically about all of the items and familiars you should consider getting. I trust you that you will choose what you like, what you need. So let's go and talk about the actual training, shall we? 
Okay guys, so from levels 1 to 9, you can get it by going into the Baroque Museum and doing the quest. It is a small mini quest and after completing it, you will get 9 Hunter and 9 Slayer. Basically, what you need to do here is answer a few questions. Uh, it can take up to 10 minutes, something around that, to complete it and you will get 9 Hunter and as well 9 Slayer. If you want a guide how to do this mini quest, simply search on YouTube. I can't show you this method because I have already done the mini quest and I just can't do it twice, no? Uh, if you don't want to do this mini quest, it's fine, no worries. So from 1 to 20 levels, you will be feeding rabbits in the wine sweeper minigame. You will need oogle roots, you can buy them there, from every rabbit you feed you will get 30 XP and around 10,000 XP per hour. To get to the minigame, simply find the tool leprechaun, it can be found in every hair patch. Once you found it, right click it and just click teleport. Once here, go to this dude and buy oogle roots. Uh, if you have 0 hunter XP, you will need in total 149 of them uh, for 20 hunter. Once you bought the roots, go and feed those cute looking rabbits. In this area, there are 8 rabbits you can feed. Once every rabbit is fed, you should switch world and feed another 8 rabbits. This method should take you around 25 minutes to get 20 hunter. So do this till you will reach 20 hunter level. From levels 20 to 29, you will be catching tropical wagtails. From this, you will need 2 bird snares. Every time you will capture this bird, you will get 95.8 XP and you should get around 11.5k XP per hour. These birds are found in the Feldip Hunter area, south of the Feldip Hills, just west of the Hunting Experts Hut. Uh, the best way to travel here is with Oglog Lodestone, but if you don't have it unlocked, just use Ring of Dueling and teleport to the Castle Wars, then just run south till you will reach this spot. All you need to do is simply place your bird snare and wait till you will catch a bird, simple as that. After you catch one, remove it and replace the snare. After level 20, you will be able to place two snares and this will be way faster XP than placing only one. I know guys that this part is really annoying and you might get mad at some point, but just stay calm till you will reach level 29 and we will go to the next method. From levels 29 to 46, you will be catching swamp lizards. You will need small fishing net and rope. From a single catch, you will get 152 XP and you should get around 30,000 XP per hour. If you are below level 40, you will need two small fishing nets and two ropes. After 40 level, you will be able to place three ropes and three small fishing nets, so bring them with you along because we will be training here for 46 hunter. Swamp lizards are located just east of Akanafa city. Easiest way to get here is to use ectophile and run west or by teleporting with ring of slayer to the slayer tower and running east or walking all the way from barrack to the spot. Yeah, that would take some time. It depends on you. This is really simple guys. Place the trap once the lizard is in the trap, take it and replace it and replace the trap. Really simple. You will be doing this till level 46. Remember guys that after level 40 you can place free traps. So this will get more XP per hour and you will catch more lizards. When I was catching lizards I just released them for the better XP per hour. If you want an extra GP you can bang them of course in the Kenefe city. At the moment one lizard is around 2k gold so the full inventory will be around 40k. I don't know if that's much but yeah if you need that extra GP just bank it and yeah. Come back and bank it, come back and bank it, you know. From levels 46 to 59, you will be catching Viridian Skill Chompas. You will need box traps and every time you catch one, you will get 140 XP. And you should get around 35k XP per hour. Since you have reached level 40, you can place 3 traps, so bring 3 of the traps. Viridian Skill Chompas are located below Port Phasmatis. You can get here the same way as for Swamp Lizards. Except the Virgian skill chompas are a little bit more easy than swamp lizards. So this is as simple as swamp lizards. Just place your traps and wait for the skill chompas to get into them. Collect your loot and replace the trap. Do this till you will reach level 59 hunter. From levels 59 to 68 you will be catching red salamanders. You will need small fishing net and a rope. Every time you will catch the red salamander you will get 272 XP and you should get around 45k XP per hour. In total I recommend bringing 4 small fishing nets and 4 ropes because after level 60 you will be able to, to place 4 traps and your XP per hour will increase. So from 59 level place 3, tra three traps and after level 60 place 4 of them. 
Red Salamanders are located southwest of the Ardon in the lava place. Uh, to get here, walk from the Ardon or teleport with the Ring of Dueling to Castle Wars and run north. Once there, simply place your trap and wait till Red Salamanders will get into your traps and collect them. After that, replace the traps and continue this till you will reach level 68. Of course, if you want a little bit more gold from this task, uh, you can bang the Red Salamanders. They are around 6k GP each. But I highly recommend just releasing them for better hunter XP per hour. And guys, there's not a, not a single bank close to you, so this will take ages to bank and you just need to get back here. Jesus Christ, that's a long time. Just release them and continue catching them till level 68 hunter. From level 68 to 77, you will be catching Azure skill chompers. You will need box traps and from every catch you will get 210 XP. You should get around 80k XP per hour, you should bring 4 box traps with you for the best XP per hour. They are located near the Trollways Mountain, so if I were you I would just teleport to the Fremenic Lodestone and run north. Once there place your traps and wait till the skill chompers will be captured, collect the loot and replace the traps, simple as that. Uh, do this till you will reach level 77. Ok guys, before I talk about the last part of the training, I really want to talk about Seren spells because they are really really amazing hunter XP. To get Seren spells you need to have completed the light within quest, then completed unlocks all of the spellbook spells plus Seren spells. You will be available to cast Crystallized spell which requires 88 magic and it increases your XP by 50%. But be warned that you will not get a single reward by using this spell. To increase even more XP per hour, use Light Form Prayer, which requires 80 prayer, and it increases your XP gain to 87.5% experience. This can almost double your XP per hour, and you will get that sexy looking skill cape very, very fast. Don't be worried if you don't have the spells or prayers, simply train without certain spells, and you will be fine, just fine. You will just get a lower XP per hour, that is all. From level 77 to 99 you will be catching green walls, you will need box traps, runes for the crystallized spell, prayer potions for light form prayer and raw pyre meat. Every time you will catch a green wall you will get 2062.5 XP and you should get around 750 to 800k XP per hour which is really amazing. Bring with yourself 5 box traps, once you will reach level 80, you will be able to place 5 of them. They are located east from the Tyrus camp. The simple way to get here by Tyrov and Lodestone and run west or by ship to Tyrus camp and run east through the forest. Once here, simply place your traps and put the meat inside the trap. Once the green wall is in the trap, use the crystallized spell, activate your light form prayer and simply watch how the process works. Once you run out of the meat or runes, go to the bank and restock of course. This is the best hunter training method because you can get even up to 800k XP per hour if you concentrate. Yeah, if you concentrate guys. Do this method till you will reach 99 hunter and you will get that sexy looking skill cape. Okay, so if you don't have the crystallized spell, you can train from levels 89 to 99 with crimson skill champas. You will need 5 box traps. Every time you will catch a skill champa, you will get 450 XP and you should get around 150k XP per hour. As well, this method is really great for those people who want to get extra GP from Hunter because one Crimson Skill Champa costs around 1.2k uh, GP and you should get around 400k GP every hour, which isn't really bad, guys. Crimson Skill Champas are located in the desert, so keep in mind that you will need the water skins or if you have completed the quest dealing with Scarab's Enchanted Water Tiara. Simply to get here, teleport to Menafos and run north or travel from Al Kharid with carpet to bandit camp and run south. As well guys, if you want you can use crystallized spell and light form prayers here as well, but uh, you won't get any skill champa so instead making money you will lose money. So that's not a good idea. Unless you want XP of course. For myself I caught them by normal and made myself a great number of money till I reached 99 hunter. Maybe if you are that person who wants more XP than money, then of course use the Seren spells. This is it for this guide, I didn't include Ark because I don't really know about it much, so I can't really talk about it. This guide is to show you how basically I, tra I trained my hunter and how I managed to get it in a really really fast and efficient way. 
I know that few people might say that there are better ways to train an arc or something. Yes, I can agree, maybe there is, but I'm saying this is the methods I used to train and they were great for myself. So yeah, they were great. So I hope that I helped and if I did, don't forget to smack that like button. And as always, have fun skating guys. Peace!